Hi there, Stephen Neftcher. Just going to show you um, the one methodology that I use that's very effective in trading um, forex markets. Uh, basically, allows you to trade multiple uh, currencies um, on any time frame. And the great thing about it is it, it catches every single trend. So whatever whipsaws you you have, like we have over here and there's one over here, you're going to get that on any system. Um, you, you'll you see that the the main or the large trends that you get into more than make up for those small whipsaws that you have. Um, any system that you trade is going to have, uh, at some point in time, it will, will whipsaw you. So you just need to have effective money management for that. But what I'm going to do is just give you a brief overview of, of how it works and then um, some of the trades that you could have taken um, it's the 21st of August 2014 and there's been some really significant moves um, in the US dollar over the past couple of days and um, we see here in this particular chart as the US dollar Swiss I like trading the 15 minute chart for for intraday moves um, and as you can see here if we look at this setup over here um, it's very simple to follow. The, the obviously the red uh, painted bars gives you an idea of of trend, a very good idea of trend, and you can see that the trend is obviously down here with a small push back up over here. Um, what would have happened is you would have traded. If we can just zoom in there, a short over here. This indicator on the bottom here gives you the actual move in the market how uh, volatile the market is and if there's a big move in any direction it picks it up so for instance here you would get in when the um, red bars rise above this uh, yellow uh, line over here so you would have got in short over here on this indicator um, but then you would have got a signal to get out um, so you would have made a small loss of maybe about 10 pips over there you would have gone long again and you would have got whipsawed again for about another 20 pips so overall you're looking at about 30 pips over there then gives another signal here to exit the market but not enter so we wait till it pulls back over that uh, yellow line and we enter over here the next signal to get out would be on this yellow arrow here which is 14 pips all right so that brings us I'd say We'd still be slightly um, short there um, as far as uh, profit is concerned, but only uh, to a small extent. Right, so the next trade over here, we see the bars are trading over the yellow line here. Right, so we get in over here and we exit over there. That's a 30 pip trade, so now we're sitting in profit. Um, another little whipsaw there for about 16 pips and then you'll get in long again here and exit over here for about 40 pips and now today what we've seen is that the US dollar has now reversed some of its its gains and you're seeing a lot of selling coming through over here so the signal to go short and you can see there's a short in over there would have been over here on this bar over here and short so that's up about 10 pips or well, sorry 8 pips uh, we also utilize this indicator over here which tells us basically tells us the slope um, of the of the actual um, bars as they as they're moving up or down and it then um, will give you an indication um, of how severe that that uh, um, slope is and whether you should look at possibly entering um, or exiting the the trade so yeah it measures measures that slope and then it um, compares it against all the other currencies for that specific time frame so for instance you can see over here that um, this is US dollar Swiss so US dollar Swiss over here is above the ranging um, bars or, or area 
um, so so this would definitely be a you know going short over here when it reaches um, below the negative 0 0.8 then we're looking at quite a severe uh, move to the downside um, and possibly a prolonged move the same goes for the for any trades on the upside so we, we normally want to be focusing on these last two columns specifically on this last column over here which um, tells us which currencies are actually moving quite nicely to the downside and the, the same applies um, to the upside so the Aussie US dollar is currently moving the upside New Zealand dollar uh, US dollar and the euro US dollar the we want to stay away from the the ranging um, currencies over here and wait for them to move into the respective areas before we trade them we use this in conjunction with this indicator over here to tell us whether we want to be long or short in, in addition to that we also bring in our dashboard correlator which is really an invaluable tool to give us an idea of what is going on um, on any given time frame so what we're seeing here is US dollar is coming off the strength of yesterday um, and you would have expected the yen to maybe come up um, you know on the back of that because the yen's also been very weak but the the yen's actually staying uh, or remaining quite weak and the US dollar is pulling back uh, we've seen currencies like the uh, New Zealand dollar and the Aussie dollar very strong today as well as CAD all the commodity based currencies um, are coming back uh, the pound has remained relatively weak and the euro is also uh, pushing back higher today so you just by glancing at this I can tell you what's going on in the market as well as um, if I look at the on the commodity side oil which is linked very closely to the Canadian dollar is up um, gold should be pushing back up again um, on the back of a weaker uh, dollar and then we've got the indices that have remained um, quite strong all the uh, indices in the US and Europe okay here's um, just a, a screenshot of the uh, euro US dollar and you can see here um, on a 15 minute chart um, how many trades is that five trades um, of which one of them we caught that really nice move so you've got to take a bit of a hit with all the um, other uh, call it whipsaws and that 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 you may get into but if you have the correct money management those small whipsaws that you take whether it's um, 15 or 20 30 pips at a, at a, at a maximum um, is not really going to hurt you when you're getting a move like this and normally you will find after there's some form of whipsaw there's always a nice breakout now normally the issue is you don't stay in the trades and don't take every trade because you think the next trade is going to be a whipsaw as well but that's the secret to have good money management and then to um, take every single trade um, what we're going to be looking at doing is um, automating a lot of this process uh, as well so you can see here um, this was over the last couple of days you would have taken on this particular day 28 pip loss then a 6 pip loss and then another six per plus so that's so that's three trades in a row that were losses and then came the sell um, signal that was generated on the well that was what four days ago um, with this huge down move on the uh, euro US dollar and you can see it kept you in the trade all the way right down to here there were there were no these indicators do not repaint I've tested them extensively and I'll actually show you um, with this indicator how how it doesn't repaint anyway you can see that that really nice move 120 pips and then today we've got a buy signal um, at the bottom of it hi there back again uh, just set up the strategy tester to show you how this uh, system actually works and um, we're going to walk through as if we were trading a live market and I'll place a trade and show you how the indicator works and that um, it doesn't repaint at all um, and um, show you precisely how it works okay let's step through it right so 
There you go. We can speed it up here. Right, so we're waiting for a, another pink arrow to the downside and for these red bars to trade above the um, yellow, yellow line there. At the moment, we've got nothing. Let's zoom in a bit. We've still got move to the upside. Okay, we're starting to see movement. It's starting to trade above, above there, and you can see. There we go. We have a entry signal right there. So I'm going to place a trade. Go short, two lots, and we'll be able to monitor precisely what our profit and loss is at the moment. Right, so the, there we are. We have it fluctuating above there, but um, we would then let's look at where's my stop loss is up here. I could bring my stop down there. Right, so we just watch this as it. Down a little bit, so we can see more of the actual move. There's nothing to tell us to get out of the market. These bars are not above there, and we do not have a, a long signal, so we stay in the market. We still we're running at a slight loss. Uh, this is based on a ten thousand dollar account, so we're well within our money management there. But right, we're starting to make profit. You can see it being generated there. Speed it up a little bit more, and all the while, there we go. There's a nice move to the downside. The profit is coming up, it's going through the um, support here. You can see we still there's nothing to tell us to get out of the trade. And we're still in. Right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit more, just to not bore you, but just to show you that the right, we're on the 19th of August now. We're still short from that initial. Speed it up a little bit more. And we're still in. 19th of August. Let's give you a bit of a perspective here. We got in back here. And it's still running. It hasn't given us an exit signal yet. Let's speed it up a little bit more. Twentieth of August, still in, and we're sitting at still continuing two thousand dollars profit there. And another leak down. Twentieth, we're heading for the twenty-first, which is today, and. So we'll look here. Right. We're starting to move to the upside there. Let's slow this down. Right, there we go. That would be our exit. And you would then go long as well. Right, so um, I'm gonna stop it there just to show you. Right, uh, stop, and I can run my analysis.
and here's the analysis link to that account and you can see there weekly return and that's just based on that one trade it's a 31.9 percent um, return with a 200 and projected 219 um, percent for the monthly return obviously though that's just the one trade but it was, it was just a demonstration to show you how the indicator works and how powerful it is anyway that's um, all for now uh, if you'd like to get get hold of me and contact me regarding this system I'll be doing some live um, seminars and trading show you exactly how you can trade the system uh, please contact me it's uh, Steve at fxbafrica.com um, or you can contact me on Skype uh, Stephen.neft. I'll leave a um, comment up so that you can you can see the uh, the email and the Skype address. It's all for now. Cheers. Bye.